Uh, hi, I'm Staley Glomboski from Suffield, Connecticut. It's a 1971 Ford van that I actually acquired when I was 14 years old in 1977. I built it myself over the years and uh, five weeks ago, restored it, took it back out and it's been parked since 1993. Uh, the outside, when I did it originally, I closed the doors in give a different look. I removed all the door handles. They were actually done with Chevy starter solenoids to uh, make electric doors. The key will override the, the solenoid so I can open up the doors on the outside. Uh, I added the windows. I molded all the spoilers into the van. The markers are actually, I made uh, metal frames and they're all stained glass uh, markers. The both radio antennas are actually fringed in an electric to go inside. They were done with exhaust tubes. The whole hood was made out of cardboard originally and copper tubing and fiberglass. That's how I originally made it. The front of this actually flips out. These are Bronco headlights. It's a 71 Ford uh, pickup truck uh, front bumper. This originally was made by uh, my uncle. Uh, I made it out of cardboard. He made it in a metal shop back when I was about 18 years old for me. And uh, the visor, on top the visor on top that I put on. The sunroof, I've had, there's actually three sunroofs on the van. Uh, currently added this year, there's a solar panel on the van that's charging two batteries in the back of the van to run LED lighting in the, that I've added on. I've tried to keep the old, but also bring some new technology and keep it calm. Uh, coming around, the, actually they're all brand new Kragers and uh, keeping the original BF Goodrich radial tires that were uh, the biggest show thing back when we were doing the vans and have to keep again the nostalgia of it. The van was originally painted in my garage from uh, Rodney Goodrow which was from my old Van America. I like I say repainted all the fade, all the graphics in the last five weeks. These doors I originally cut back at can't quite tell you the year, but a uh, year and a half after a GMC minivan came out with the same style doors. But these actually close in. The tops come down. Uh, running boards were added on. It's steel running boards, so you could stand on them, but uh, do not really care for people doing it because it scratches the paint. Mm -hmm. They are short. Chrome show tubes that I put on because I love the chrome that follows in with the van. Uh, could not find roll pan and I like the looks of roll pan so I'd actually used a Dodge uh, 77 Dodge fiberglass roll pan to get the front corners and then built the intersections. Then I took the original swing doors off the back and I had got a side uh, sliding door got the panel welded in, removed the existing lights. This is actually made out of uh, a metal door and then cardboard to build all fiberglass to build the light bar. Then I cut the top piece to make my upper door. Sort of basically told the dream. I believe in dreams and, and that's what started this whole van and if you work for it, you can get there. And uh, I try to preach that to my children. I try to preach it to everybody I can say. Just don't give up and believe in it. Markers are all stained glass, handmade stained glass uh, markers. And again, I've added some LED now. Actually, there's a backup camera system on it also, which is what the light is on the bottom shining <laughs> camera. And in the original paint, when I did it, I wanted to have the words daydreams into the graphics. And uh, it's quite a feat to figure out how to write it in, which we did. So the inside is all electric windows, electric doors. Again, the keys are, uh, the key will override the electric. Uh, I took all the dashboard out, made stainless steel dashboard, all Stuart Warner gauges, electric, electric sunroofs, uh, 
electric mirrors. This is new addition to turn around and bring a new stereo and uh, backup camera. Actually, it's on actually. Uh -huh. uh, and DVD player, but a lot of people like my uh, original older van so I can most of the time not give away with anybody knowing that I pulled into the newer technology. Does have a track cassette, CB, uh, TV, and again I, I preach about dreams. The we do a lot of baseball now with the kids, and uh, it's part of what the horse in the front is about. And actually, right, so it has no steering wheel. No steering wheel. So it's all power steering rack underneath. You can steer with. A, Handle in the middle, this puts it in gear. And these two buttons here, oops, I'll wait till you get in. Mm -hmm. These two buttons are for your signal light, so you put them all with your feet. Push one left, right, and then push them both, and I have my emergency flashers. How do you drive it? Carefully. <laughs> Actually, it's very easy to drive. Only one that's hard on this fan and always has been is, is a little bit of seeing and uh, uh, I added spot mirrors and it's not bad no more, but uh, the upper uh, console that I put in, again I made that out of cardboard and, and my uncle had actually made the uh, stainless steel for me uh, to continue the stainless steel look that I put in. That's a Bearcat scanner up and top. All the headlights, everything runs through those switches, other than the power in the back of the van has a timer so that I can go to sleep in the van and turn the van off from the back. <laughs> now I live the model dare to be different. Uh, I, I, I had actually parked it for a while and uh, I decided to take the thing out. And I'm like, I'm not going back out with doing what I always came back and being different. And uh, I decided I was eliminating the, the steering wheel. And the old Fords were known to have a, uh, a very manual steering wheel that had a lot of problems. This one actually warmed out on me on a way to an event once. And with that, with uh, you know, power steering racks, and that's what's underneath, figured I could actually make it better than it was original if I did something different. So that's what I did. Inside, well, it's all black walnut cabinets in the, in the van, so I've actually built the tool box into it. First aid kit on this side I built in. I went a little too fast, but. And then the original seats, because they're seat belts now with the new laws. Back then we didn't have seat belts, but. <laughs> uh, again, uh, skylights, they're electric. Uh, again, if it, all these were handmade wood, there was not a lot of stuff for vans when I first started. So I, you bake stuff, and uh, that was the theory: if you could make it, you were somebody, and that's that's how we were pushed to build the van. So the original van I acquired in 1977. That's the uh, picture of it when I first got the van, and that was February 14th at 14 years old. I have a problem with letting go of uh, stuff. <laughs> got uh, a sink which actually the the reserve tank for the water is a keg it drains down under the ground of a towel bar built into it icebox refrigerator uh, the upper cabinets uh, again all the, the uh, lights work there's LED lights underneath it'll be in the uh, light shell later tonight the fish tank that it is inside here on the Left to keep happy here. <laughs> it's all done at solar run now. There's actually batteries underneath the back bed, an inverter uh, inside, which will actually run computers. I can put computer in the back. Again, slightly new technology, but that's. Uh, <laughs> 
if you look through here to the back, you'll actually see the very back of the door I made into a magazine rack. Mm -hmm. We'll probably go from the back side. Yeah, okay. And then we've got the, the walk through or crawl through. Yeah. So then in the back, this is original Infinity Light that I made. I wanted Infinity Light. It's all done with little 12-volt uh, lights put together. Uh, in daydreams and believing in daydreams and did a lot of effort to try finding a clouded sky to, to get that feeling that inside it's, you're just in that little land of what can be. Uh, monitor now hooks up. I get pictures that go out of the van or watch TV uh, videos. I originally back when uh, the computer verse came out, the Atari, realized it was 12 volt. I had put it in the van about a week after I got it and uh, people were amazed how I could get it to run inside the van, but people weren't catching on at all. A lot of the stuff that was coming out was 12 volt. And so I was usually ahead of myself with some of this. And again, it still works, which I'm very proud of to, to keep it maintained in here. Uh, yep. And again, the, I can turn the van off from here, which will shut everything in the front other than what's running in the back. And still have fan in the back, it's not air conditioned. Uh, back lights that I have made were all hand cut. Uh, and again, uh, one of the most interesting things I can talk about at the moment that drives me crazy in the last few weeks that I was doing is I started redoing the dashboard and I was wondering why the units didn't fit quite so good. So I took out my nice battery uh, grinder and cut the holes a little different, put it in. And while I was doing it, I remember we didn't have these tools and I hand filed to be able to get the radios to fit in and that's why they were too tight and didn't fit quite right. And I'm like, just amazing time lapse to remember what I've been over the years and where it's come. Yeah. Well, again, this this is the whole thing about the daydream, and again, uh, just don't give up on your dreams, and that's what I believe in. Daydreams, dreams, they're all the same. This is my van in 1977, 78. This is actually this van, my van here on this fairground will be. Uh, middle of next month, it'll be 40 years, the first time this van was here. That's what really provoked me to get it back out of the garage. This is in between, this is 1981, these pictures. This is how the van looked about six weeks ago. And I've repainted. This is two Sundays ago to get it here. And just some of the past pictures and bannons that I've been through. Uh, I see you're in the snow. That's in the snow going to Autorama in Boston uh, on the 13th floor for the Autorama show in 84. And people just don't believe I used to drive it all every day. <laughs> and what's with the help on the back of the that? Yeah. <laughs> it was basically just, in other words, there, bust to get there with the snow, with the roads were impossible to drive. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't, I'm not really sure. Autorama 84 help, just wanting to get there. Uh, don't run us over. We're getting there, we're going. And uh, wash it in the parking lot outside and put it on the elevator and get to the show. So, this is an actual uh, article that was done by Nighty Night. Uh, back in 96 about the steering when I had just first done it, or did it. <laughs> uh, and I actually let him drive it at that point because everybody's question was, how can it drive so easy? And uh, it actually talks about it. He's still alive, his son is here at the van and, and, and come, came and talked to me. Again, the daydream sign, all the hand carving, all the carving was done by hand by me. Actually, the, the cup holders were all done on a lathe back when I was in high school. And uh, that's how I learned to use a lathe to do them because I wanted stuff and if I couldn't make it, I couldn't have it. That was my attitude. So uh, actually these are uh, all hand carved also, but I, I went a little farther to tell people to step out and try to put a few sayings on there to help go with the whole po point of positive attitude. You got to believe. If you don't believe, you can't get anywhere. 
and that's the story of 